our upwards, the size of the, um, the height of the neck. And the height of this neck is 5.7 millimeters. So just click enter on 5.7. And now we can click on OK. That's quite a tall neck, but it's okay because remember this hole in here was 8.2 millimeters deep. So that should just slot in nicely. All right, next thing we're going to want to do is create the armholes. So selecting this face here, left click on that, and we're going to left click on extrude. So left click on extrude and what we'll do is we'll change the orientation to the right side. Oh no, for me it'll be the left side. So this is the uh, face we're working on. So I'm just going to hold shift and hold the middle mouse click and change. I'm just going to do a quick measurement as well just to find out how deep this hole is supposed to be. And it's supposed to be 4.52 deep. So I'm just going to make a quick note of that. 4.52 deep. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, so we're going to put down a center line, so left click on center line, and we're going to put it in here if we can, it doesn't seem to want to give that option to us, that's okay though, um, what we might do, there we go, so we can left click here, in on this middle button here, so we're going to drop that center line down the bottom here, left click on that, and we're going to make it so that it's completely it's on a right angle, so it's completely straight up. So left click again, and there's our center line. And then just middle click out. Alright, the next thing to do is to determine the distance up uh, of this uh, circle, which the arms will slot into, away from the top here. And then also away from the sides. But we'll focus on the top for now. So we'll go to our construction mode. Left click on that, and we'll select the line tool. And we'll just left click and make a quick line just directly down that center line. So left click out and then middle click out of that. And now, and middle click again to get the dimension up. And then we'll just change that dimension to 1.9 millimeters. Might zoom in, there we go. That helps, 1.9 millimeters. Okay. All right, so now we want to... We want to actually make another line that will go into the middle of the circle because remember our lines go from the center outwards. And what we'll do is we'll just stay in construction mode and choose another line. And we'll go from that point down and create whatever distance, left click out, middle click out, and then middle click out again. And what it's actually done is it's it hasn't given us an it hasn't given us a dimension for that line. So what we might do is we might combine the two construction lines. So we'll just go to our select tool over here and delete delete our construction lines if we can get a hold of them. So once you've selected the construction lines, just by dragging a little box over them and then deselecting the center line, just click delete. Alright, so we're going to click our line tool and we're going to go 1.9 millimeters down and then we're going to add the radius of the circle so that it goes into the very center of that circle. So the radius of the circle will be 3.9 divided by 2, which is 1.5 plus 1.9, and that's 3.4. So we're going to create a line that is 3.4 millimeters long. We'll 
Ooh, nearly got there. 3.4. Enter. All right. Now we want to create our line using the center and point tool. And we're going to get out of construction mode because we want this to be a genuine circle. Left click on that. And now we got our um, center and point circle tool just normally. So left click at the end of that construction line. And then we're just going to create it whatever length, uh, whatever diameter. And then middle click out, little left click out, and then middle click out. And then we're going to choose this dimension. So click on that until it comes up. There we go. And it is 3.9 millimeters in diameter. Enter. All right. So the distance between this edge and this edge should be exactly two millimeters. And what we can do in order to find that out is use a construction mode line again. And we want to go to the very extremity of this circle. And we're going to click on that. And then we're going to go to the extremity of this um, side facing. And just left click there and then middle click out and then middle click out again. Now it's actually telling me nothing. <laughs> So we're going to click on the dimension tool up here in the top left corner and we're going to left click on that and we're going to left click on this line and then middle click out. Now as you can see it's 1.95 millimeters, which is 0 0.05 out but that's okay. Um, we'll test the other side as well and middle click out and we're going to click on the dimension tool and click out. As you can see that's 1.5 as well. So this that's okay. Um, all that means is that I must have measured the distance between the edges wrong, which is fine. You know, it happens especially when you're working with such a small unit of measurement as 0 .0, 0, 0 um millimeters. All right, so the next thing to do is to extrude this circle. So if it's turned pink, we can click on OK. So left click on that. And we will, again, we want to extrude into the material. So change the direction of the extrude up in this top icon here. And we're going to want to make it go 4.52 millimeters deep. Alright, um, just click enter on that and then click OK. Alrighty, so once that's done, we want to do the other side now. So we'll click on this facing and left click on extrude and this should be a bit easier. So we'll click our orientation, our mine will be the right side this time. It should be a bit easier because we know the process. So we want 1.9, so we want 3 point. So we want to go to our construction mode once again. Oh wait, we're going to drop our center lines first. So left click on that, go to our center line tool. And there we go, that's nice, it's created a center line for us. A center point for us and we'll left click on that and drop our center line there. Left click and middle click out and we're going to go to our construction mode, left click on that and construction line, left click on that and go to the top here and we want to create that line to be 3.85 millimeters long. So just click anywhere on that purple line and middle click out and middle click again to get the dimensions up and then change this dimension to 3.85 all right so now we can create our circle out of construction mode and we're going to use the center and point circle and just go to the end of that construction line left click and left click out and then middle click out 
and then change this dimension. All right, and we want to change that dimension to 3.9 millimeters in diameter. Enter. Now that should be directly across from the other line, and it's hard to tell from here, but it should be. So we'll just change the view again back to the right side for me. It might be left side for you, but it's all the same. And we're just going to extrude from that side. So click OK. And we're going to want to change the direction of the extrude. And it's going to be, if you remember, it'll be 4.52 millimeters deep. So click Enter, and then left click on OK. All right, so now that we have that, we have almost completed our torso. The next thing to do is to create the leg holes down here. And this is a bit of a process. It might take a little bit of time. So I'm just going to click stop on the video and we'll resume soon.